Hey everybody, Mark here at 8-Minute Axe. I know a lot of you tune into this channel for all things related to the 12-string guitar. And speaking with many of you, I also know there are a lot of beginners out there, but I've also found out that some of you are a lot better than you think you are and just need the confidence to go for that riff that you've always wanted to play. With this in mind, today I'm going to play you five classic but easy 12-string riffs, and I'm going to show you how to play them. And with a little practice and a little patience, I'm confident that you'll have all five of these riffs down by the end of the day, if not sooner. If you're new to the channel, please take a moment, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell to get notified when I upload new videos. And don't forget that I give away a brand new 12-string Van Gogh guitar every month. Details on how to enter are in the description below. Tabs for these riffs are available 100% free. All you need to do is email me at markabernally at gmail.com. Let's jump right into it. The first riff I have is actually a chord progression. It's a chord progression to one of my all-time favorite songs, and the best part about it is the entire song is just two chords. You know it. It's an all-time classic, A Horse With No Name. On the first part of the journey, I was looking at This one is super easy and it's all about the strumming pattern. So only two chords, E minor and a D6 add nine chord. Now depending on your ability level, you can take the strumming as far as you want. Uh, the strumming patterns do vary throughout the song on the original track. What I like to do is for the E minor chord, I first hit the E note, low note, and then I go down, up, down, up, down, up. So the only little tricky part comes in the second chord. So what I did there was on the second chord I went, I went down, up, and I kind of caught the chord to quiet it, to mute it. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, catch. Up, down, up, down. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, catch, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, so I tried to pick riffs that were not only classic, not only involved the 12 string, but also gave a little variety. So this one includes arpeggiating a chord, meaning playing single notes of a chord, and it's more than a feeling. So let me take you through it real slowly. So we make our D chord and we go fourth string, second string, third string. Then we add that pinky to get that sus chord. Then we take the pinky off and we just go one, two, three. So we've got. So after we make that D sus chord, we're gonna kind of walk down from a C. We're going to play five, three, two. We're going to keep that third finger on the third fret second string. So from the D, we're going to go. And then we're going to move down one more fret to the second fret fifth string and play five, three, two. And then we're going to fret that G note on the sixth string and play six, two. And that's the whole riff. didn't want to involve a capo, but let's face it, no 12-string countdown would be complete without this tune. Like the first one, this one only involves a couple chords and they stay the same through the entire song, through the verse, through the chorus, and through the breakdown. And of course, I'm talking about Free Fallen by Tom Petty. <laughs> Now I did a full cover and lesson of this one. You can check that out, I'll leave it above. But let's do a quick breakdown on the riff. 
So we've got a capo on the first fret. Now this song does have several guitars on it. There is a Nashville tune guitar, there is a guitar capo on the first fret, guitar capo on the third fret. But definitely that first fret capo is the best place to put it if you're just going to have a single guitar, strum it and play it. Also, I do recommend you getting a 12 string capo. If you have a 6 string capo, the chances are it's not going to have enough tension or it may not be long enough and some of the notes will get choked out. But uh, do the best you can right now. At the end of this, I'll also show you how to play it without a capo, although it doesn't sound nearly as good. So we're going to put the capo on the first fret, we're going to play an E chord. Then we're going to play an A sus chord, which is basically like an A chord, except we're not going to fret that second string, we're going to keep that open. And then we're going to go A sus again, back to E. And then we're going to do this B sus chord, which is kind of like a B chord, except again, we're going to keep that second string open, so. So. So you can see how I strum that. You start off just doing. Then you add some strums. Okay, so let me show you how to play it without a capo, just in case you don't have one or you just don't want to fuss with it. Let me throw that away. Okay, so what we can do is we can play an F chord then we can do an F sus chord, basically add our pinky there. And then the F sus to the F to a C. Okay, the next one on my list is super fun and super easy, and it's by my favorite band, The Beatles, and it's Ticket to Ride. Okay, so this one is very easy to play, but there is a little syncopated note at the end, so make sure you pay attention. I definitely advise playing this one along to the record until you get the feel of that last note. So we're gonna make kind of part of an A chord, second finger, second fret, third string, third finger, second fret, second string, and we're gonna go. So we're literally just going three, one, two, three, and then open two, and open one. But that last note, there's a little bit of a delay. It sounds like this. So my fifth and final riff today is a riff that I once called the riff that made the 12 string famous. And it's a great riff. You'll recognize it immediately. Mr. Tambourine Man. Okay, so what we're going to do is make kind of a broken D shape. We're not going to put that second finger down on the first string. We're just going to fret our first and third fingers respectively. And we're going to start off with an open D to that third string second fret. Back to the open D. And we're going to take our pinky and put it on the fourth fret third string. And walk down to the second fret. Open third string, fourth fret, fourth string. So we've got. In the second half of the riff, we're gonna take that first finger and move it down to the second fret, fourth string. And we're gonna keep that third finger on the third fret, second string. And we're gonna play four, two, one, four, two, and then open four, and second fret fourth string. So that second half is. So the whole riff slowly is. Okay, so that's all I've got for today. Just have the confidence, you can do it. If you need help, just email me, markabernally at gmail.com. Also, if you need the tabs, same thing, just shoot me an email. 
Don't forget to subscribe and like the video, and most importantly, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.